So it's back to work again. It's the 8th of March. I like the fact that I had to look at the calendar to make sure. It's the 8th of March and I'm not even sure that the school's going to be open. Not because of the weather, but they've had an inspection and they came out uh, not very well from that. And it's got nothing to do with the teachers or the amount of effort that they put in. But um, they were in special measures and they were inspected again on Thursday and Friday. So really I'm driving off and I've no idea whether the school will be open or not. I can't really comment as to why the school would be put into special measures, but the teachers that I've been working with have tried so hard uh, under the strain of uh, parental indifference and children who have perhaps had no schooling up to the age of seven. So um, I wish that the government would recognize the amount of effort that teachers put in in the circumstances that they're in but here goes State radio two for a monday morning oh, we love the megaphone call so your announcements please of any criminal trial uh, and that's the difficulty with the, this case. It... Well, it wasn't quite the doom and gloom that I was anticipating, but um, all things can happen these days. The inspection was sort of satisfactory. There's still progress to be made, but I didn't work with two different classes today. I worked with one class for the whole day, which is a kind of an indulgence, really, to think that I had the chance to develop a story, character, plot, setting and the way that they recorded it in one day and have the whole day to do that. We also looked at paragraphs as well as adventure stories. I've got to say that the children reacted very well. We had a lot of success in that although they'd been shown paragraphs before they weren't really using them and at the end of the day they understood the, understood the difference between uh, an urban story and a rural story and I used those terms. I think that if you're going to do something then you might as well use the terms that are common parlance throughout the whole of the time that they'll be in the educational system. It worked out really well. It was um, as if there was a cloud over everyone that they'd had, a, that they'd had an inspection and well, I think you know my feelings by now, don't really think that they deserved to have this um, perpetual scrutiny, give them a chance to develop with the children that they have, but that's just my personal opinion. The work was very good and tomorrow it's going to be the same. I'm working with a younger class on the same idea of developing paragraphs and adventure stories. Quite a lot of thought went into this with the teacher that we used a photograph of a farm and that was the main focus of the setting that it started at the farm and finished at the farm and then there was an adventurous part of the story to go with that but still very good. But all work and no play makes Tony a bit of a dull boy. So I'm going to have some exercise to try and forget all about the tensions of the day. Try counting out loud. One, two, one, two, one, two. Great job. Keep it up. Focus on the muscles you want to tighten. Now this is the Curry Mile, which during the day doesn't look that much. It's certainly one of my favourite places to go. No, it doesn't look that much during the day, but on a night time, it looks like this.
Now it's cheap and it's good, but it's still not as good as South Shields Ocean Road.